I was telling you about the sun visors. This one, where did I put the other one? Anyway, the other one is, as you can see, it's broken. So that cannot be repaired. This one is still together, but the uh, wiring was all jacked up and it just wouldn't work properly and they have like a little like a uh, little plunger switch that whenever you closed it it was supposed to turn off the lights and that worked whenever i wanted so i just like i said i, I don't believe in having one sun visor this one as you can see it's just dirty and a little rusted no big deal but oh here's the um the wiring harness for the lights. This is a pretty, pretty involved thing that they had going on here. And this little switch here is broken, you know, because of age, it gets brittle and they just literally for, fall apart. So if you want to take, take one out, you have these, it's almost like a speed nut but it's not a nut. I mean, it's got like little teeth. And of course this one is all messed up because I had to go in there with a, with a uh, small punch and, and get those kind of bent back. So I was able to remove this from the, from the assembly. Basically, this is kind of similar. This one is broken. But here you can see where one of those clips is installed. And they really, these retainers really keep the thing securely in place. So if you need to remove one of these or both, you're going to have to find a way to um, to go in there. And uh, like I said, you know, you're going to end up with a mangled retainer, but you, you can buy these. What you will need is something like a, a small screwdriver and you want to pop this cap here. This is just a, a regular just a regular cover with small prongs that pop in there. And here you can see I just stuffed the um, part of the wiring. But you have a hole that goes through the this assembly here and this is where the arm of the um, sun visor fits and then you insert that retainer push it down all the way so it clicks all the way down to the bottom and that keeps the sun visor in place and then you just use this little plug to seal that so it looks nice. But anyway, that is uh, my quick and dirty explanation as to how these sun visors are installed. So this one would be in here. That's what I was trying to show you. That's where this one pushes through. And then you, you put the retainer. You push it in probably with a one or two little flathead screwdrivers until it clicks all the way down and this is all that holds this thing in place. There's a spring in there as well. So it is kind of spring loaded. And then this pivots and you can of course use the, the um, sun visor in whatever position you need it. That this one rotates also. Anyway so that's, that's it for now.